It looks so sophisticated. <laughs> the way he does his little crisscross applesauce paws. So I don't know if you guys got a chance to see my video from this morning, but in that video, I showed you just how many crazy problems are going on in the world right now, but uh, also the vacancies and these open and empty apartment units. Now we just received an email with our updated lease uh, renewal and addendum that they want us to sign and uh, agree to for the new terms for which we are going to be here but uh it's crazy because how many empty units there are but it all makes sense because you guys know you guys know the numbers i know you know the numbers uh people watching this channel subscribe to this channel i know you guys are paying attention to what's going on out there in the world and you are in tune with the truth albeit some of this may be a little bit fudged and uh, over over exaggerated but uh, 41 percent 41 percent of businesses can't afford to pay their rent now that's alarming but understandable par for the course okay we're gonna see a lot of businesses going out of business a lot of bankruptcies a lot of people getting laid off fired terminated no notice and with that, we need to understand how that affects people's jobs. 25% of people can't afford to pay their rent. Now that's a big problem. That's a huge problem. And ultimately that's gonna have a major cascading effect on the overall housing market in itself. And I wanna share that with you, as well as a few other things I wanna share with you in this video, if you don't mind. And, uh, also show you some ways in which perhaps maybe people can recoup and recover uh, some quick cash and get some money to cover these expenses. Oh, and by the way, the van. Yeah, uh, about the van. Here, check this out. I expected more. So did I. Because it's clearly sales and uh, shop or, or whatever service. I just expected more. But I mean, on this street, I don't know why you'd expect more. The one in Fort Walton is not crazy huge, but yeah. 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 Like Lester. Oh, here we are. Mercedes Centennial Imports, I guess. Park on the Volvo side, but we're going to go over to the Mercedes side and pick up the van. In theory, we're gonna pick up the band. We're gonna see if our credit card will be allowed to swipe for this amount, whatever this is. We might be putting us over the limit. But uh, also, it's gonna be interesting to see what this drive is gonna be like going back. Cause unfortunately, uh, we did not get a chance to clean out the van entirely before uh, dropping it off. Got a nice GT. Is this a uh, GTS with a fixed wing on it? But this one, we had to bring it here on purpose because uh, commercial vans, that's where the that's where the Sprinter, that's what category the Sprinter falls into. And uh, they don't work on Sprinters. And for a walk, I don't see mine over there, but we'll find it, I'm sure. That sucks but they came to the right place. Got a flat tire. Yeah. We got a pretty decent sized service bay back there and over here too. And uh, I don't know where the van is, but we're just kind of hanging out, waiting for them to oh, there pull it, it up. Here it comes. I should have told them to wash it. I should have told them to wash it. But it almost looks like they might have washed it. It does look cleaner. Can we record you getting into it? No, grab no. it. No. You don't want to go on like that. 
Yeah. All right, maybe they didn't watch it. Oh, they, <laughs> they didn't watch it. <laughs> you can't exactly take it through a regular car wash. Ask them where they wash their van. Would y'all have washed this if I asked you to? Um, I'm not sure about the sprinters. I know we don't wash the sprinters. Oh, okay. All right, we're back in the van. We've got the ticket here. Paid for. Not all of the service work, not all the work performed was a fee, but there was a substantial fee, as you can see here. And we'll, we'll discuss more about that later. All right, so I did get connected. We were cruising to some tunes and then I hit a bump and then the entire screen shut off. So uh, maybe it'll come back on. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I guess this is a, uh, welcome back to van life. <laughs> All right, we are back with, we got power again. We got power again. I stopped real quick just cause I was kind of curious. I hate paying for service because they were supposed to do a brake fluid flush and a fuel filter swap. But I just wanted to make sure that I saw some fingerprints and some, evidence that they actually even touch these areas versus just giving them money to do a service that most people won't really be able to like justify if they actually did it um so yeah i was on the fence about that one the weather is so nice today you know the sun's out sun's out we got a little bit of a breeze going obviously got some cloud seeding i mean chemtrails going on up there but it's just a nice day. The wind's got a light breeze, good temperature. I put this uh, Lululemon uh, hoodie on, but honestly, I don't even really know if I need it, but I put it on anyway, just in case, because we're probably going to be out for a little while. And by the time we get back, it'll be dark and the temps will have dropped, but really nice weather today and uh, a drastic change and drastic difference from just two days ago, but hey, Beautiful, beautiful uh, January weather here down in Florida. Uh, where are you guys at? How's your weather? So we'll see how much we get or how much she gets from Plato's Closet. Cause I don't know, she. I probably need to go through a bunch of my stuff and, and have her bring it over here. Cause I got so many different clothes and outfits and work stuff from Georgia that I'm never going to wear again. Uh, might as well get rid of it and free up some space and make some extra money. This is why I knew better. I knew I should have done it at 10 a.m. and I didn't. Their buy counter is closed because they end up kind of short staffed in the winter months and only a handful of people have the authority to do the purchasing. And so it's after two o'clock and no purchasing power. <sighs> Labor shortage. I have no idea if I can even see anything, but from where I'm sitting, we got a good view of the water. Mm -hmm. Calm today. Looks pretty calm. Yeah, I'll take some. We ended up making a pit stop. We were famished. BLT, Thomas, doing a little bit of work. And we're still waiting on her entree. Thank you. Mm. This looks good. Looks great. Thank you. Appreciate it. Can you tell me what we have here and also tell me about where the lettuce came from? Sure, absolutely. So what we got right here is called this is my long run BLT. I'm a runner, so I just wanted something that kind of correlated with that and all runners love BLTs. So um, 
It's gonna have uh, avocado puree, garlic aioli that we make in house, uh, a jerk in Angus Farms bacon. They're uh, just south of Tallahassee around Bluntstown area. Uh, very, really, really good bacon. Um, and it's gonna go on sourdough bread. Um, and then it's gonna have a special lettuce that goes with this from Westonwood Ranch. So it's a butter lettuce that they grow aquaponically. Um, so uh, Westonwood Ranch is a center for people on the spectrum. So all their students and participants are the ones that are growing it um, at their facility and then they provide it for us. So we're very blessed to be partnering with them. Very nice. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, it's gonna be, this one is paired with sweet potato fries and a homemade ranch that we make in house. And anybody who wants to get their own is coming where? You can come over to PB&J Bistro and Cafe. We're located in the City Food Hall over here in the Destin Commons. Uh, hours of operations, we have off-season hours, so it's 11 to 7, and 11 um, Sunday through Thursday, and Fridays and Saturdays, 11 to 9. Thanks, Phil. Yeah. All right, it got cool out here. All right, guys. So just a few days ago, we discussed the challenging situation faced by businesses with 41% unable to pay rent. And this trend is concerning for the overall economy, especially when considering the rise in business delinquencies. But now let's shift our focus to the average consumer. And according to a recent Credit Karma survey, 25% of Americans are currently unable to afford rent, while 75% still can and that is a good thing. Now, this significant portion facing financial strain is expected to impact the housing market dynamics in a massive way. Younger people, particularly Gen Zers, are heavily affected with 31% already living with their parents as it is and 27% unable to pay rent. Even Gen Xers and baby boomers are making compromises on necessities to meet housing payment needs. The survey also reveals that 57% of Americans allocate the majority of their income to housing costs, posing a sustainability challenge. And in response to affordability issues, people are unable to afford rent and are exploring options like moving back in with their parents, living with roommates, or relocating to more affordable areas. This shift and housing preferences is likely to alter the demand and the overall dynamics of the housing market in general. The survey also highlights the concerning trend that Americans are using a significant portion of their income on housing, leaving little room for other expenditures. And this raises questions about the sustainability of such a scenario as a population solely focused on meeting housing costs may impact overall economic activities. The broader narrative extends to the overall shift in the economic landscape where more and more individuals have been barely keeping afloat. Wage growth barely exceeding inflation coupled with record high credit card spending has allowed people to manage their finances, but this trend may not be sustainable in the long run and there are concerns about the potential consequences when individuals can no longer rely on credit cards due to financial strain. Another noteworthy aspect is the wind. <laughs> the amount of wind that's blowing here, sorry guys. It just got really windy all of a sudden. But uh, the revelation that four of Americans leave, they will pass their debt onto their loved ones after death and this raises ethical and legal questions about inheriting debt and emphasizes the importance of understanding the implications of financial decisions. The discussion also touches on the real estate market, highlighting the varying realities across different regions. And a chart from Freddie Mac indicates a divide between the Western and Eastern halves of the United States with real estate values declining in many Western locations. But in conclusion, it's important that we focus on and address the concentration of wealth among baby boomers who have benefited significantly from the doubling of the U.S. housing market value in the last decade and just how important it is for you to protect your wealth. Have you considered gold, perhaps? However, I want to encourage younger people to recognize that this situation may not last forever and remind you to look at more strategic decisions to navigate current challenges and build a better financial future. 
Thanks for watching. Smash the like button and subscribe.